Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 572, Rapid Review. What is megaloblastic anemia? Megaloblastic anemia is anemia characterized by many large immature and dysfunctional red blood cells, which are known as the megaloblast, and these are present in the bone marrow. And megaloblastic anemia is associated with pernicious anemia. What is pernicious anemia? Pernicious anemia is a decrease in red blood cells that occurs when the intestines cannot absorb vitamin B12. Along with vitamin B12 deficiency, what other deficiencies can lead to megaloblastic anemia? Megaloblastic anemia can also occur due to folate deficiency. How do you differentiate between megaloblastic anemia caused by vitamin B12 deficiency or folate deficiency? If vitamin B12 deficiency causes megaloblastic anemia, there is also neurologic symptoms. And if folate deficiency causes megaloblastic anemia, there is usually no neurologic symptoms. What lab or diagnostic finding is observed with megaloblastic anemia? In megaloblastic anemia, you see hypersegmented neutrophils, and the neutrophils are considered hypersegmented neutrophils if they have five or more nuclear lobes, because up to four nuclear lobes are considered normal, but if it's more than four, it's considered hypersegmented neutrophils. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.